We celebrate Mary, the mother of the church today, and Jesus' gesture of love from the cross is sometimes glossed over a bit. It's really an amazing love. He gives his mother, his mom, to his closest companion. It's a vision of who Jesus is as the Son of God, free from the corruption of possessions, of blame, of succumbing to this numbing world of hopelessness. It's the dramatic reminder that we belong to each other in good times and bad, and in sickness and in health. His provision for Mary was pro quite precise. When Jesus laid down his role in the mother-son relationship, he gave her a new son. Mary, a, a widow in her 40s or 50s, would have had little ability to meet her own financial needs. But by saying, this is your son, rather than this is your caretaker, Jesus provided family. Jesus took care of his beloved mother, Mary, and in the middle of this tender moment, something bigger was happening. Jesus reoriented the family. Sure, natural families are important, but at the cross, Jesus hints at what he intends for the church. When we become believers, we have a spiritual connection forged by Christ. We're invited to see ourselves in this new family, that is to meet one another's needs and show the tangible compassion we would give to blood relatives. In this beautiful gospel moment, Jesus' care for Mary equips our compassion for others. It's only after that that Jesus can say, it is finished. This gesture of love is a gift from Jesus to all of us. He gives Mary and John and us to each other to care for each other, to help one another, and to be church under her guidance. We bear witness to people who do this every day, and we're called to join these generous people who give to each other through Christ's invocation, invitation. It means patience, it means extra work, empathy, sympathy, which all our work we are challenged to do well. It's what Adam and Eve did not do that initiates original sin. They disconnected themselves. Our connectedness in and through the body of Christ serves as a reminder that through Jesus and our connection to him, we are washed clean of our sins and we are given to each other to walk through this life together. I read an article a long time ago now written by Glenn Campbell's wife about the last month of his life. I remember he was dying of Alzheimer's and though saddened, scared, and tired, his wife knew the holiness of that journey home and the value of being connected to a life of faith. In fact, her husband's last album spoke of it in its simple title, I'll See You There. We will see each other over there. We have been given to each other to walk each other through life's journey, health and sickness, good times and bad, until that day when it is finished and we are home with our Blessed Mother, where sin lives no more.